Indonesia, a country of diversity and archipelago. It is located in Southeast Asia between the Indian Ocean and Pacific Ocean and the largest archipelago in the world. It has Jakarta as its capital city. Indonesia is diversity from culture, language, religion, and political group. The largest ethnic group is the Japanese, but there are significant population of Sundanese, Batanese, Maduranese, Minangkabau, Betawi, and many others. Besides that, Indonesia is the largest Muslim majority country in the world, with Islam being the predominant religion in Indonesia, followed by Christianity, Hinduism, Confucianism, and Buddhism. Wondering why Bali that you know might become the only part of the country with a majority of Hindu population, accounting for 86.8% of all Balinese. With two seasons, Indonesia is entirely a tropical country. Indonesian people enjoy sea and sun and the beach. But there are two main seasons that are in Indonesia. With the two seasons, there are three words that can describe Indonesian food, like vibrant, diversity, and flavor food. Top tropical fruit that you could be familiar with or in love with, like durian, jackfruit, sebeda, kerondong, mangosteen, sour soup, dragon fruit, rambutan, and snack fruit. But one thing, everything tastes better with sambal and krupuk. The abundance of grains, beans, and vegetables really make us easy to access to the plainest food like tofu and tempeh, the two staple food that we can find anywhere. Local food that you can find here in Indonesia like gado-gado, kardo, pecel sayur, lodong sayur, all these are easy to recognize by omitting some part like eggs and yeah, a bit of effort is required so it could be really easy to find plant-based food here in the country. Veganism in Indonesia Looking back at the Vegan Festival 2023, I will look back again one year ago. Vegan Festival 22, when the government claimed it is like the largest vegan festival in the world in Surabaya. It is driven by the health concern and environmental aspect. But when it's come to animal, it just get a small portion of it. While vegetarianism has a long history in Indonesian culture due to religion and cultural practices, sometimes it is hardly seen as a social justice issue. The fact that during that moment, vegan world remained unknown for some people and could not differentiate between vegan and vegetarian. Raden Ajeng Kartini, a prominent Indonesian activist, was for women rights and female education. She came with the quote of Vegetarisme itu doa tanpa kata kepada yang maha tinggi. In her book, Habis Gelap Terbit Lataran. Collected from the letters she sends, letters of a Japanese princess in 1911. It served as the beginning of the intersectionality of feminism and veganism in their generation. We could do better in our generation. Have compassion for the sentient being as they can feel the pain and pleasure just like you and me. Would it be the best interest of human animals to live in a world where the act of exploitation to non-human animals occurs every second? Drinking cow's milk is not a typical Indonesian habit. Indonesian people saw it as a disgusting dream. It is a white blood from the four-legged animals, the cow. So when Japanese people see European drink meals, they think it is a disgusting drink, historian, Fatli Rahman. The popularity of meal is increasing over time and time again. It shows us how the colonization influenced our way to see the process of brainwashing about meal in Indonesia. We can agree on how it shaped our mindset about meal and animal consumption besides the influence of religion in our country. Why do we need meal as a nutritional drink when we have a lot of plants and spices that can benefit us? Why we have to make art in the western world when we have one in our country? We are probably a nation of meal drinkers. We have lots of flavored meal and you most likely can name it. Let's name one plant that we can use that really benefit benefit us, like moringa that you can find around you. 
it provides seven times more vitamin C than orange, ten times more vitamin A than carrot, and seventeen times more calcium than milk. Different angle that each every decision takes, like from the food perspective, health, environmental, culture, religion, or even from the festival aspect, from the fun aspect. But it's often started with food. It is really close to our heart that we consume three meals a day. But when it comes to food, then it eats to companion animals that accompany us almost every day and then leads to found new ones. The Vegan Society in Indonesia was established in 29. It was the years that really close to establish of Jan, to buy the animal animal. Some religion in Indonesia is really complex and it can influence the diet of their followers. So faith require or encourage the followers to follow vegetarian diet or a little free diet. You can find plant-based option because of these reasons. The Vegan Society of Indonesia claim that in Indonesia, approximately about 10% are vegan in Indonesia for the total of population. 27 million people in 2021. More context to come, vegan options are there to serve us an easier accessibility for everyday life. But what we need besides the option is animal liberation. With this option, we are not contributing to the death of animals, but speaking out for the right can make a change to someone's life. When it comes to activism, people come with a group, communities or individuals. They come together at a grassroots level. It could be from street outreach, a school outreach, a silent protest, corporate campaign, stick rain, go to the road, go to the street and also like educating people or even go for food solidarity event. We can mention different approaches in group or organization as well as individuals. Each type of activism is so important. Activists are making this world a better place for animals. We can see it from street outreach in Jakarta or Bali, an amazing organization like Animal Don't Speak Human, Jakarta Animal Ad Network, Animal Friends, Jakarta, and of course, the Hari Vegan, Sporting Animal Vegan, and Renaissance Vegan Society, Toba Animal Friends, so this is of Hari, Jakarta Vegan Guide, Vegan Meetup, Vegan Bandung, Vegan Athlete. Farm Animals Coalition and Animals in Asia. Animal in Asia stands as a capacity building organization with their upcoming project like Animal Advocacy Conference Asia, Change Generative, and the Animal Advocacy Academy. It will be launched in 10 countries across Asia. Also, it will be the first six week courses in Indonesian context for animals in Asia. Some past projects that happened in Indonesia like Animal Advocacy Forum, Vegan Festival, Vegan Food Bazaar, Vegan Religious Charity Event, Street Outreach, Salon Protest, Cooking Class, and Food Solidarity, Vegan Food Testing. All of those are constantly there to support each other. Those who are very experienced happens every day in our country, in our world every day. It's happened in the blink of an eye that we cannot even measure some that for the animals by numbers because we often objectify them as an object. Could we do better as a human being that has the capacity that, and the intelligence to serve ourselves for exploitation? Could we do that the same thing to the animals that we want to save in order to save all of us in the earth? To be free from the cycle of oppression, we could not be an oppressor ourselves to the most genuine sentient being on earth. Let's create a nation known for its kindness and compassion and let's extend it to non-human animals. Keep fighting.